Good morning, everyone. I'm at a weigh station to see how much I weigh. I weigh 4,750 pounds. Uh, that's pretty cool. Bridge of the Gods. I feel so mighty and powerful. My name is Thor. But welcome to Stevenson, Washington! Actually, that's a pretty cool view. Morning. And then I love it here in Oregon because there's always trains going by. Yeah! All right, so I'm here at Mount St. Helens. Of course, no service, but if Mount St. Helens is a really weird place. Take a look at this. I am currently here. If you want to see a great view of the mountain, like see the crater and everything, you have to come from the south. But there's no connection between these two parts. And there's no connection between this point and this side. So like, if you go all the way out here, you have to come all the way back. If you go all the way out here, you gotta go all the way back. It's really quite lame, but this is where they say like most of the scenic views are and the animal and the wildlife. So I'm going to go all the way out, go back, go back up. But just going from here to here is an hour and 15 minutes. So that's going to be a heck of a trek. Guys, I think, I think I spotted Bigfoot. There he is. It's Bigfoot. All right. So Mount St. Helens is definitely a mountain of valleys. If you want to see valleys, you come to Mount St. Helen. That's crazy. Like I said, valleys. That's what you will see when you come here. Look at that. Look at the river down there. And I'm only at 2,000 feet elevation. Gonna be going all the way up to 4,000. Oh, check this out. You can do like a helicopter ride. Please be careful exiting the aircraft to make room. Oh, that was short and lame. At least it's cool in here. Look at this. This is so weird. At the learning center here, they have a sluggard bed from the museum. That's where I was in Louisville. So weird. So you're actually be able to, supposed to be able to see elk, but there aren't any out today right now. But down there's where they'd be. Whoa. Look at that fog, yeah, it's cool. Look, it's starting to reveal itself. And now she's being recovered. That's unfortunate. Man, these clouds are so annoying. This would be so perfect if the clouds just weren't there. That's straight up great. Look at that. I really hope this is great quality. For all of you. There we have it. That is so much better. Look at that. Let's see the crater. And her surrounding valleys and hills. I wonder what point a hill becomes a mountain. So the catch with this mountain is that you actually don't go on it, but that's like the great thing, because if you went on it, then you wouldn't be able to really see these amazing views that you get from here. Hey guys, that's really the only way to do it. Now fortunately, the mountain slopes away from me where they're pushing the limits like that. I've heard that it's basically kind of like hell. He's got wings vibrating like crazy. Also, it's really weird. A bunch of these smaller parks, they all charge fees, but like that's all based on the honor system. Like they just have a sign that says "fee required," and they just straight up expect people to put money in it to pay for it, like a couple dollars, whatever it is that it says. But uh, I have a national park pass, so it doesn't matter. Yeah.
my hair feels too girly. This is crazy. And if you want to see all the elk, though, and the buffalo and the bulls, you have to, like, bring, like, super binoculars and stuff, so that kind of sucks, but... This yeah, they're a lot closer. I don't know if you guys can see, but right there in the middle of the screen, that's where there's four bulls, which are elks, male elks. They're literally right there. They're brown spots. I don't know if you can see them. There's four of them. If you go right at the tip of my finger, that's where they are. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much Mount St. Helens. Um, quick uh, learning opportunity about elk. Males are called bulls. Females are called cows. And they're brown when you look at them from a very long, very long distance away. That's how you spot them. And I highlight it like by saying brown because everything else is black. So all those volcanic rock is black. So that's how you spot them. And not a tree or some other rock. Mount St. Helens from above. There you see it in the back. See, if it was a perfectly day, we would see that. And then you can see this, the crater. So Mount St. Helens is pretty cool. It's one of the few so far that you can actually like see the whole mountain because you're not actually on it. So it's pretty cool if you guys want to come check that out. This really is a trip to go and see like valleys and uh, gorges and like smaller hills all around Mount St. Helens. So if you like valleys and gorges and hills, this is the one to come see. And then if you really want to see the mountain, you're going to have to wait around a little bit because the clouds are always coming in and out. And you actually might get unlucky and not have a view at all from up here at the Johnson. But most likely along the way, there's other spots that you could have stopped that you would have seen like most of the mountain. Uh, you just wouldn't have been able to see like that full-blown picture with the crater. But now I'm off to Mount Rainier. 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 I don't know if I'm saying it right. Rainier. And then also be sure to bring a full tank of gas, like fill up your car, and bring binoculars so you can see the elk. Those are the other two things you need to do. So on the way to uh, Mount Rainier, I found this awesome place that's all like steel sculptures. So I just had to stop. There's like a horse. There's like fish over there. There's a giant bicycle. Train. This is exactly why the National Park Pass really pays off. Look at that, $25 you get into this, just this mountain. And there's not even that much to see here. Welcome to Mount Rainier National Park. This is not at all what I was expecting in Mount Rainier National Park. Seems like a forest. Man, look at this. This place goes like, along this awesome lake that's like goes like the whole way. And there's some yeah, check this out. This place. This goes like all along the so the southern road that you take. That's like the trail that you follow with the car. This is cool. This park is definitely the place that you want to come if you want to go hiking. This is a hike friendly park for sure. And you can just straight up tent camp here. And just pull out a tent and go camping anywhere. That's cool. So that river I was talking about is the ever changing glacier river that goes all along the way here. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Down we go. Whoa, steep, steep, steep. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to go, but. Oh, this is cool. Oh my goodness, look at the mountain. That's epic.
<laughs> this is a cool tree, look at that. <laughs> Oh man, I wish we could see some beavers. That would be cool. Look at the size of this tree trunk. It got ripped right out. And it's long. They have this really cool bridge here. Walk across. You can just sit on it. This would be my ideal chill spot. Look at this. We can just sit here on this log. Freaking the view. Look at that mountain. It's more like a game. It reminds me of playing lava as a kid. Oh, next rock. Whoa! Oh, man. Look at this giant stump. Oh, I'm getting up it. Whoa, I need two hands. I have to find the perfect rock to take back. I just don't know which one. This one looks like blue cheese. <laughs> this is a wacky tree. There's no other ones like it in the park. Also, this park is a very unfinished park. Look at that, there's like gravels and bumps and things like that. They tell motorcycles to use extreme caution. Yeah, look at this, there's like no road. Dang. This is like when I was at Augur Falls. I'm just too used to the city life, man. I'm spoiled, I guess. With them nice paved roads. Oh, look at the falls. Whoa! <laughs> I like this. No supervision. Well, that was Christina Falls, and I like Christina. She's very nice. Yo, check this out. <laughs> that was Nisqually River Bridge. That's a cool place. You guys have to check that out. Oh, snap. I think that's Mount Rainier coming up. Oh. Yup, here at Mid Mountain Forest, you can see the beginning. Oh, there you go. It looks like it's not that far. Why does it look not so far away? This is Nardia Falls or something, something along those lines. Look at that. Woohoo! I actually really like this one because like it goes a pretty long distance. Like and then it goes right over the edge and then you can go down and see it, but. That's a hike, I'm not going. Yeah, I think I was making it a little bit harder than I had to. It's just Narada Falls. Narada. But I still haven't seen any animals and I'm disappointed. I wanna see some wildlife. They have elk here. Hopefully I can get some close up elk. Whoa, there it is. Mount Rainer. Rainier. Rainer. Ah. It's not rain rainer, but that is still cool. There's rainer, but of course it's covered by clouds. There she is. At least what you can see of her. And of course they have snow, but look at it's all melting. Oh my gosh, now she's so completely covered. Let's see how long I have to wait here to see something. They have a nice visitor center though. Oh yeah, look at that, very nice. Yeah. 
There she is. I just love this, but it's so weird. It's like the mix of like the cold, fresh air, the heat from the sun, and snow. Like I just don't get how they all live together. Two, three. Alright, so like the clouds are not moving like at all and there's like a long line in the clouds. Like if you use my head as like a point of reference and look, you see they don't move like at all. So hopefully I'll find an, a better like point to like see it from. I'm gonna move on. There she is from the back. I got her. There's the falls from earlier. And then the mountain. Welcome to Reflection Lake. Oh, you guys can't see it in the snap. It reflects into the water. Why not? I think it has to do with the sun because it was just there a second ago. Well, actually, you can kind of see it right now. But, like, where is the mountain? There's the mountain. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. You see that reflection? That's cool. <laughs> Alright, alright, I really need a new word. I gotta stop saying cool. So, un on purpose. Unintentional, but, oh man. So I've pretty much done all the cool stuff. Started all the way over here, made my way all the way around to Inspiration Point, Reflection Lake, which is right where we are now. Here and then go back up, and then seasonally it opens up here, but it's not open right now because it's too dangerous. So really there's nothing to see except for the ski resort here. And I was pretty much told at the beginning, like, the best place to go up to is just, uh, the inn that I was at just a second ago. But I went a little bit further because I thought it'd be cool. This reflection lake is definitely worth it. But, yeah, that's one of the problems with these two mountains that I did today. These two, like, parks is that, like, first one, there's just literally no connection between the two halves. So you can't cross the whole park easily. And then, sadly, on this one, you just can't make the full loop. Like, I want you to go back up because it's all closed here because of too much snow. Oh my goodness, Kit and Kabuto, look at her, she is beautiful. Wide open, no clouds, amazing! Alrighty, goodbye Mount Rainier, off to Vancouver! Alright, so real quick, let's do a recap of the parks that I've been to so far. So first of all, Yellowstone National Park. That place is more like a scenic place, it's got like a bunch of attractions. Imagine like uh, a tourist city with like a bunch of attractions, sites to see, points of interest, things like that. That's what... Yellowstone is like. It's very well organized. They have very many establishments. Um, everything is like planned. You can do all kinds of different things. They have all kinds of different things like from waterfalls to to, um, to mountains to like everything. So like imagine like Epcot or something like that. Like they have everything in the one place. That's Yellowstone. Mount St. Helens on the other hand is more of like a valley and like gorge sort of like place. Maybe not so much gorge but more like valley and hills. Like if you like enjoy looking over the, the valleys. And if you like White Top Mountains, then Mount St. Helens is definitely the place for you. And then Mount Rainier, that is a lot like um, like a ski lodge or something like that. Like, So first it starts out as like a forest, so like you're driving through a forest. And then there's like a beautiful like creek and like that you can see and stuff like that. And then it goes up into like the mountains and it becomes like a ski resort kind of area and like a White Top Mountain sort of view. It's very much a hiking sort of park. So if you enjoy hikes, that's the way to go. Um, I didn't see any wildlife, so it's not very strong in wildlife. And then lastly, Mount Hood. That place is definitely just like a straight-up ski place. Like, you go up there, you're going to spend like a whole week doing like ski, snowboard, snowshoe, anything. I think my two highlights of the day are Reflection Pond and um, the Cougar Rock at Mount Rainier. Those are the two places you have to go. The Reflection at the lake is amazing. I don't know if the time of day matters. I went like around 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, so that's... And then exploring at Cougar Rock where that lake is, just it's awesome. It's so much fun. Those are the two highlights you guys have to do. And then I'll just throw in, I was on my way to Vancouver, which I still am on my way. I drove through Seattle. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till I get there. Good night, everyone.